So another thing that happened, a lot of you guys know I'm very much into uh, jujitsu. Uh, I had the opportunity, the amazing opportunity yesterday, uh, to go and train uh, at Marcelo Garcia's uh, school. And uh, it was quite an experience. I had a good friend of mine come with me, so that helped. Um, and I took the their fundamental gi course, fundamentals too. And I don't know how they do their system. It seems like everyone takes all the classes because there was black belts, purple belts, blue belts, brown belts, and they were all getting it in. Um, and it was qu- it was quite intimidating because everyone there is so good. I mean, um, they're just so good. But I've 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 studied Marcelo a, lo- a while, you know. And the thing I really like about him is he just seems to love it, and there seems to be a love and a joy and a passion there. And I just really want to be a part of that. Also, I want to learn and I want to get better because um, I've I've taken jujitsu, I've studied jujitsu for a while, and I just. It's kind of one of those frustrating things. It's similar to like my Spanish and my Japanese. I've studied those languages for years and I'm not fluent and I should be. And I feel the same way about my jujitsu. I've, I've been training for years. I know a good amount, but I, you know, nothing I feel like is really workable. Like if I were to go to a tournament, I think I'd get worked over. Um, but maybe not. I mean, I have pretty good control. I think I could score points on people. But if I had to do a submission, that, you know that would be tough. So I'm really hoping that this year I can uh, fill in a lot of my gaps, a lot of my holes. But Marcelo's is amazing. Um, he wasn't there. He's going to be there uh, next week, I believe. I mean, he was there at the gym, but he teaches on certain days. And the day I went, he wasn't there. But everybody that was there was nice. The instructor was very nice, very knowledgeable. Everybody was willing to help out. Um Everybody I rolled with was very nice, very, you know, but they were bringing it. They bring it at Mar- Marcelo's. I mean, it's 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 intense. But I felt really thankful, and it's also something that kind of helped me to realize how fortunate I am to have a instructor and a, a best friend like uh, Julian Williams, who's at Fusion XL, um, which has Mike Perry, um, Jacare Sosa, um, Alex Nicholson and other pro fighters, but um, Julian is just an amazing instructor. I mean, because I, like I said, I felt I felt fine in Marcelo. I mean, and I didn't feel like I was out of place. <laughs> Actually, the only time I felt like I was out of place or nervous or in over my head at the very beginning of class, um, <clears throat> they do these rolling drills where you either roll forward properly or roll backwards. So you fall back, break your break your fall properly, and then you roll over your shoulder. But at Marcelo's, they do it over another person, which I had never done. Um, and so I was thinking, oh my goodness, if this is the warm up, you know, and my f- <laughs> my first roll was just absolute dog crap. I mean, it was it was embarrassing a little bit, but. You know, I mean, I'm sure they're used to seeing people come in for the first time and be nervous. And, you know, I got to get, I got better. And then the, what what they were drilling in class was, was cool. So I was fine with that. But, um, and then the rolling, of course, you know, but it was great. I'm excited. I'm going back next week and I may go to Renzo Gracie if the 80-20 drummer ever recovers from his injury that's been nagging him. Um, yeah, I also recently 